let's learn about how we can create model in Vue.js so I'll be using this CSS framework no JavaScript here so model so you can go in this URL at the documentation you will see different components so in previous video we covered about masses now let's create model okay so here is example model so there is no uh, JavaScript just this markup and we need to toggle its active class so to activate the model just as add is active so we'll copy this markup so before that you have to include this CDN so just search for Bulma CDN and Vue.js and we have created another file called main.js so inside index.html I'll just paste that in so if we see this in browser we are uh, we are seeing nothing because so as in documentation we need to add this is active class so if we add so after adding this let's switch back to browser and we should see model so uh, at the moment there is no content okay so actually we need we need to add this box inside the model content all right so as we can see this in browser okay let's make the component out of it as well okay let's copy this everything inside this code responsible for model and we'll define so we have defined new view instance uh, which is applied on root div inside this div and name of component I'll call it my model and inside here template and inside backticks I'll paste everything all right so now let's use this here my model okay let's test this once again so working perfect okay after we have uh, made the component called my model what we want to do is we uh, just don't want to display this every time we only want to display this if someone clicked on some button okay so let's create a button and give it class button now if we switch back uh, we can we can see the button over here so what we want to do uh, is we want to show this model uh, you can do v if or v so let's do v so so we want to show this uh, model only if uh, the variable called so if this variable is defined you can call this so model only but I want to be specific if this variable is defined we will see the model so let's uh, define that variable here so that will be false by default all right so whenever we load it we shouldn't see it we will we would only see this if someone click on this all right so now what we'll do is uh, make new so here if someone click what we want to do is so we want to make this so login model equals to true all right so that will be true all right so now you can see uh, so now we want to make if someone click on this uh, I will make it we have to make that close so this is the close button doing just uh, like this at the rate you might be thinking doing like uh, this click and so login model equals to false this won't work let's refresh try that once more yeah that won't work because uh, this is defined in this scope uh, root all right so this is component uh, this is the several separate part so in order to do that so we need to create a custom event call close that uh, we are defining now so that will be like click so this is already defined inside view this is standard one and this is user defined we will uh, define it in a moment so if uh, this close event is passed by mm, component then we want to make it so make it false so now let's define this close inside this 
so if someone clicks on close button what we want to do is we want to emit all right so here we are emitting this event call closed and we'll we are catching that here so if close is defined or emitted what we want to do we want to make this variable so login model false like we did true here for displaying model okay now let's test this uh, refresh the page so the model and close the model cool right one more thing uh, by default we are displaying the model body as this is model body so uh, let's make that dynamic so what we want uh, to do is whatever we type it here we want to display that in our model body so if we refresh we won't see that so in order to show that what we need to do is we need to make we need to define here slot like so and whatever uh, we typed inside this tag will be inserted inside this slot let's check that out so custom body all right similarly you can uh, create multiple models so I will just uh, duplicate this with button and so so register all right so let's this will be register model so this is the uh, login model okay so now uh, what uh, only thing you need to do is just change this uh, variable all right so I will replace all the instance register so only we need to change this variable the login model register and we need to define it here all right register form login form body login form body and register form how cool is that so that's all about model so i'll see you in the next video bye